So in the last video, we added our Rome content page and we put all this text in our content page, but this doesn't look so good. We should work on this a little bit. So one thing we want to do, of course, is add a little bit of margin here to push this text away from the edges of our content page. We don't want that so close because it's difficult to read that. And then let's add a little bit of space between each line so it'll make our text easier to read. And we're also going to uh, set a default size for our text. So we'll make this 16 pixels or something like that. Now you can make it whatever size you want, but I'm just going to set it at 16 pixels. So we're going to do all of this in Visual Studio. So what we're going to do is actually create a div to encapsulate all of this text. And then we're going to create a class in that div to create a margin and do the other things I talked about. So first, let's put this div and we're going to put it right inside of our main content one. And so we'll just come right down here and we'll just create the standard div. We're going to give it a class. And you will remember that from my CSS tutorials, if you followed them. And we're going to call this content text. That will be the name of the class. And then we're just going to drag this closing div down all the way down here. And now we've got all of our text enclosed in this div called content text. That's the name of the class. Now I want to point out one thing here. This div is now encapsulated within the main content ASP. So keep in mind, this doesn't actually get loaded from the template. It gets loaded from our content, our main content one. So that's the main point I wanted to make. Now what we need to do is put this inside of our CSS style sheet. So we're going to do that now. So let's open up our style sheet and we'll go all the way to the bottom here. And I've already typed this out, so I'm just going to copy and paste this in here. And here you see I've got my usual comment, and we're saying here, format the text on the content page. And this is what we talked about. We wanted a margin to put 10 pixels around all of our text. We're going to increase the uh, space between each line, and we're going to set a default size of 16 pixels. And actually, I need to rename this to content text. I believe that's what I called it, right? Content text, yes. Okay, so let's go ahead and save everything up. And we'll load our web page up. If we drill down into here, wow, doesn't that look better? Now we've got a little bit of space between our text and the edge of the page. And we've got a little bit more space between each line. But now we need to add some HTML. We want to make this bold to really stand out because this is the first subject, the Roman Senate. So let's go back to Visual Studio and let's go back to our Rome.aspx. So let's actually make this bold. So we'll just use the standard bold HTML tag. And you can see Visual Studio is nice enough to create an ending tag. How nice. Whoops, let's just undo that. That didn't go well. Okay, there we go. So that will be in bold. Now what we need is some space between our main subject here. Now we could use an H1, and if you wanna go ahead and use that, you can. But I think I'm just gonna put in some breaks. So that's what we'll do, we'll put in some breaks. Now, we could wrap all this in a paragraph block element, but that really depends on whether you're gonna format this text uh, some more. If you decide to, you may wanna use a paragraph element tag, but again, it's up to you. But in this video, we're just gonna put in some breaks, and we may change that later on, we'll see. So let's just put these in here. Now we actually need two of these to create a full space. So we need two of those. And then we're gonna need one here, right? Two more. So we'll just put those in, and we'll put two more right here. And then we want to make our Roman assemblies, uh, we want to make that bold as well. So we can just go ahead and copy, well actually we can just copy this, these three right here. Put these in and then let's make this an opening bold tag. There we go. So that'll look good. And now what we want to do is put in the rest of our line breaks. So we'll put two right here, two right here, two right here and we don't need one at the bottom of the page. So let's save this up and now see what we get. And there, that looks much better, doesn't it? This is in bold now and clearly indicates that this is a new subject. And we've got spaces between our paragraphs and that just looks a lot better. Now in the next video, what we're gonna do is we're actually going to add an image to our content page. And it's gonna be a really big image to make this article look even better. So we'll do that in the next video.